But the sump all poured, the grate has been made up and sitting on the top of the sump, ready to um, yeah get all encased in concrete. All the steel's in now. Boys are in there just setting up, getting levels, ready to um, pour the concrete. Obviously got the boom pump in. We, we can't do this with a line pump. It'd be very difficult. So um, yeah, we've got the boom pump in there, ready to go. Just waiting on, um, on our concrete to turn up. Should be a big day. We, we anticipate about 50 cubes um, to go in there, between 50 to 60. So um, yeah, it's gonna be a pretty big day today. Here we've got the boom pump up and running. Boys are well underway, putting in the concrete. Um, screeding it up pretty nicely down there. It looks nice and flat from up here. Let's um, hope it is when we get down the bottom there. But um, we've put in there now six trucks, I think has gone in there so far. So um, yeah, plenty, plenty happening today. So we've got the vibrator in there, vibrating it, making sure there's no air pockets and concrete is very consistent. And then um, as you can see, you've got all the boys in there getting ready to, to finish, um, put a nice finish on the slab once they get it all, all in and placed. So yeah. All right, so as you can see, we're down, down in the basement now. Um, over the top here, we've got the boom pump. Um, reason we use that is ease of access and it's nice and easy for the boys to work with. Um, better than a line pump. Line pump, you'd have to be dragging the hoses everywhere. Being a boom pump, you've got an aerial. Um, it's nice and easy. Just grab it, put it where you want it, and um, easy for the boys to work with. So, um, as you can see, we're all just waiting around, waiting for the next truck to come. Um, as soon as that truck comes, we'll keep filling up the beams and then load the deck again. So, obviously, they smoothing it out. Yeah, yep. What sort of our time to sort of get that in before it starts hardening and that sort of thing? Like, how fast uh, can we get to move? We've probably got another hour or so until it'll start to harden up, firm up. That's when the boys will get on there with the, with the heli and start, yeah, getting it nice and smoothed and polishing it up. Yeah. So I guess there's a few guys inside. What's, what sort of the different roles of each sort of guy? Uh, well, you've got the formwork guys are here and the steel fixers. Um, they're just here to make sure that everything goes, goes to plan and they don't have to adjust anything. Then obviously you've got the, the concrete is here. Um, so you've got some labourers here that will drag back for the guys on the screed. Then you have the other guys on the pole trowel getting ready to finish. And um, you've got the two guys on the, on the screeds um, getting nice and level. We've just passed the halfway point. Just passed. <laughs> just passed the halfway point. What, um, how, how much concrete's gone in so far? Up to this point here, we're at 67 cubes. Whoa. So uh, yeah, quite a bit's gone in. Yeah, a bit more than I thought. <laughs> just a little bit. You can see where the boys are up to now. They're, they're on the heli now. Yep, yep. Um, see over here the recess section for your, your bathroom. Because we've got to like um, sand and cement bed it and bring it up to, yeah. to level. Yep, yep, yep. Is that, that's the same sort of situation, but obviously more in the Al fresco, Al fresco area. Courtyard, yeah. Courtyard area. Yeah, yeah. So that's, recess down so you can see where the where the laser is sitting that that metal grate there yes that there when it comes to tiling all the basement that'll get screeded and then the tiles will go over that as well it, it's a lid essentially isn't it correct yeah that there houses the pump for the sewer and i saw you yesterday um using your new welding tools <laughs> making up a plate over there so essentially that's the largest custom tile insert <laughs> smart waste the you smart can get. waste you can get so that way it'll be seamless right we, yeah. you'll just have to lift that lid up and the the tanks underneath with the pumps and everything and we made it nice and big so big fellas like us can get in there can get in and out if there's ever any maintenance that's it no so, that's um, awesome and um and they've got the big guy on the helicopter yeah you can see his footprints he's, he's still he's still sinking still sinking <laughs> so yeah but it's it seems to be going off quite well it not too fast well, it's a nice day today. It's not too hot, but it's no. hot enough to get it to, to go off. That's right. So, I mean, essentially, it shouldn't be too much longer and the boys should be finished and then just be finalising the finish on it, eh? Pretty much. Pretty much. Yeah, cool. Do you want to meet the guys for um, the roofing? Yep. All right. As you can see, we're on the last truck. Last six cubes of the day. So, 
Total for today is around about 85 cubes of concrete that's gone into this job. Um, boys are on the heli, they've, they've already finished this end of the slab. As you can see, it, it's come up Mickey Mouse. Um, they're just finishing off the rebate around the, the bathroom there. And then, yeah, they're, they're out the front there where they're doing that last section. It's going to have a bit of fall, so any water in the garage will run out um, towards the strip drain that goes across the bottom there. So um, probably another 10 minutes or so, the pump will be all done. Whatever's left in the line, we're going to put out on the driveway so it gives us a bit more access um, throughout the duration of the job. And a little bit up on the top there for our deliveries that are going to come next week. So, um, yeah. All it's been a good day. Good, no hiccups. Not bad at all. We've had a, had a really good day, actually. Everything's gone pretty smoothly and um, couldn't ask for a better day. So, yeah. Sweet as. Sweet as. All right, so as you can see, finished pouring today. The trucks have left. Just waiting for the last of the concrete to go off down the bottom. We went through 81 cubes today. We were sort of estimating about 60, 65, so a little bit more than expected, but uh, it's a big slab, as you can see. So, yeah, it's a great finish. The guys have polished it off so that we can direct stick our tiles to it. Um, yeah, we can start walking on there from early next week, so it'd be great to see it from down there. We'll jump on there tomorrow. If, if it's not raining tomorrow, we'll jump on it tomorrow with a hose and keep the moisture up to it so it doesn't dry out too quick and um, avoids yeah, cracking right stops cracking yeah so we'll see how it all pans out with the weather tomorrow yeah we've had a good day for it today so we got lucky